What's going on guys? Chris here with Tactical Outdoorsman and today we're going to do a little bit of a comparison for you. Our friends over at Rise Armament were nice enough to send us over an RA701 compensator. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a standard mil-spec AR-15. Uh, we're going to shoot some rounds through it with the regular birdcage and then we're going to swap that out and we're going to put the Rise RA701 compensator on it and then we're going to compare the two to see what the recoil difference was and what the muzzle movement was. So stick around. If you haven't done so already, hit like and subscribe. Alright guys, so let me explain to you uh, what exactly this test is going to be. So um, we have a Caldwell Precision Turret Shooting Rest and uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the rest, on the side closest to me there is a wheel and the wheel will actuate the vise here and it will actually clamp down on the stock of the rifle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp that down and make the stock of the rifle one with the shooting rest. And what I'm going to be measuring is off of the front leg where it touches the table. Um, I'll put a piece of tape there and put hash marks after every shot that I take to see how far the rifle and the rest move back after every shot. So that's going to give us an indication of if the rise armament break is reducing the recoil or not. Um, and then I'm going to see if I can get a GoPro set up to look at it from a side angle to see what the muzzle rise is between the rise armament break and the standard birdcage. So um, for the trigger pull, I'm going to be using a Wheeler trigger pull gauge. Uh, I'm going to try not to put my hands on the rifle at all. Um, I think when I'm trying to pull the trigger uh, with the trigger pull gauge, I may need to apply some force on the back end of the rifle to get the trigger to pull. This uh, mil spec trigger, so I don't know if it's five, six, seven pounds. Um, so I might need to put a little bit of force on the back of the stock to get the trigger pulled. But uh, I'm not going to be holding the rifle, I'm going to be doing all the trigger pulls with the trigger pull gauge. And uh, to remove the, the um, compensator and the flash hider, I'm going to be using just a Wheeler Armorer's tool. Um, it's got a notch right here that is the exact size that you need to be able to uh, remove the muzzle devices and put them back on. So uh, we're going to get out to the range, uh, we're going to get set up, and let's see what the results of this test are going to be.
All right, let's take a look at the results of the test here. So, this uh, bottom piece of tape here is the hash marks for the regular uh, birdcage flash hider, and then the top piece of tape is for the Rise Armament Comp. So, we're going to do the measurements in centimeters. Uh, I would use inches, but my daughter decided it would be cool to circle all the numbers and put a big line through everything. So, we're going to use centimeters. All right, uh, so these first hash marks here are the starting point of where the front of this rest was laying. Um, I measured it from the back of the rest and put a hash mark for the starting points. So for the uh, regular birdcage, the total amount of movement across four shots was uh, almost 10 centimeters. So on average, uh, the recoil pushed the entire setup, being the rest and the rifle back two centimeters on every shot more or less uh, one of them was almost three centimeters but on average uh, two centimeters per round and the rounds we were using were regular um, five five six uh, green tip ammo now uh, the rise comp same thing uh, five hash marks the first one being the starting point and if we take a look at this starting at one centimeter the total amount of movement across all four shots was only two centimeters so you're talking only a half a centimeter uh, of force while the rifle was um, viced into the rest per shot so four shots two centimeters so I think it's safe to say that the rise comp does exactly what it says it's gonna do alright guys there you have it that Rise Armament 701 Compensator does exactly what it said it was supposed to do. It reduced the recoil and it reduced the muzzle rise. Now, this wasn't a super scientific experiment. Uh, you saw that there were a couple of snafus, um, a couple of malfunctions with the rifle. Uh, no big deal. I left it all in the video just so you could see what exactly it was that I was doing. Um, I wasn't altering the test at all. Um, I made a few adjustments, but the measurements that I made are um, as accurate as I could get them for such a crude test, but the measurements don't lie. Uh, there was a significant improvement with that Rise Armament Compensator. So I'd say if you're in the market for one, to head over to their website. Uh, they make the RA701 uh, with the one half by 28 thread pitch, uh, and they also have the uh, larger thread pitch for the larger bore rifles. So um, head over there, check out what they got uh, while you're there. Take a look at their triggers. They make excellent triggers as well. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Rise Armament. Thanks for sending that comp over for us to review, and I hope your viewers enjoyed it. So until the next time, get out there, keep shooting, and we'll see you in the next video.